Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be October's Boxy Charm. So, let's get into it. I have cut the tape. Um, I've not really watched a lot of spoilers. I haven't really looked at any spoilers. So, I don't know what any of the variations are. I have no idea. I have just not been into makeup the last month. I just, I haven't. I've not been wearing makeup because I've been at home. Um... Uh, or working long hours, which that's no longer the case because the last two weeks I've not been working. Um, that's a story in itself, but we're not gonna we're not gonna go into it. It's just um, process of looking for a new job. So we got the boxy charm. Oh, it looks like it's kind of Halloweenish themed. Boxy boxy charm candy shop. Save the date. Enjoy exclusive members only discounts and online pop up. So here is what the card looks like. You have some bloody fingers up here with some scissors and you have all kinds of candy. So it is Halloween inspired it looks like. And I'm going to take my card and prop it up here. Maybe prop it up. Prop it up. All right. Oh, something different. We have Fru Fru. We have Fru Fru in this month's box. I do save those shreds and reuse them. I see a palette. Okay. I'm not going to grab it first. I'm going to grab this little thing first. A symbiosis or symbiosis symbiosis London an HA2 plus PUL. I have no idea what that is but here's what it looks like. And if you see this box back here this is little girl's, this is Lulu's box where she sleeps beside a mint knot and she goes in the little box there so she can't get all over everything. This is a tightening eye mask, resplendent, tightening and resplendent eye mask, which is perfect because I got up this morning and I had the biggest, puffiest bags I have ever seen on my eyes. I'm going to tilt you guys just a hair, but then you see my bathroom door, so either way. Um, big they've gone down a little bit but oh my goodness gracious when I got up this morning so I will definitely be trying that and the verbiage is a revolutionary innovative in the beauty market in the form of an eye mask in cream to tighten rejuvenate and brighten okay I'll read that one more time the form of an eye mask in hyphen hyphenate cream to tighten comma rejuvenate and brighten the delicate eye area this mask is fortified with hyaluronic acid pull up pull 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 as well as shea butter and works to visibly reduce puffiness and the appearance of fine lines and dark wrinkles lord have mercy this retails for 93 dollars this little tube $93 in my fingers, guys, right there. Okay, well, we'll definitely be trying you. What is next? Okay, everything I think is under the palettes. We're gonna do the palette last. I'm gonna pull that up and I'm just gonna pull everything out because shreds are going everywhere. Okay, I think that's all the shreds. If you order soap from me, you may re you may receive these shreds because I do recycle these shreds and send them out in packages. So that is everything in the box, and I'm gonna be careful um, not to throw it. <laughs> shreds go everywhere. Next up, we have something by Tarte. It is a Maracucha Miracle Mist Setting Spray. Hey, the Maracucha Miracle Mist Setting Spray. Prepare to be obsessed with this ultra-fine vegan super fruit setting mist that effortlessly refreshes skin and sets makeup for 12 hours with a natural radiant finish so skin looks healthy and radiant. $23. Um, oh, nice mist. Ooh. I don't really smell anything. So I don't think it's really scented. Um, next up, I see a spongelle. And I already have one of these out of, an, I think, the um, is that Fat Fit Fun Box. This one is Cherry Tonka. And I don't use these on my body. I use them for like a foot scrubber. Um, Cherry Tonka Musk. Um, Spongelle has collaborated with BoxyCharm to create a limited edition body wash infused buffer 
These buffers with built-in body wash are infused with extracts of Yazoo, Yuzu, Edelweiss, I know that one, and Veveteer root to cleanse and exfoliate, to massage and hydrate the skin for spa-like pampering experience at home. These retail for $20. To me, these are just too rough on my skin. I do have large patches of psoriasis um, like everywhere. So I do use these to um, scrub my feet and my legs, but not anything else. That one smells really good. The one that's in my shower right now is from like the spring and I don't really care for it because you guys know I'm not a big floral person. That one smells really good. Okay, so definitely keep a new and we will put you in the shower when the other one runs out. Next up we have Real Her Ultimate Glow Getter Cheek Trio. Oh, and I don't have on blush. Cheek Trio. Guys, I have not been wearing makeup. I have on makeup today because I did have a job interview. Uh, it's sealed. Okay. So I did put on a little bit of makeup. Nothing crazy. I mean, you know. And you're wearing a mask too. So nothing heavy. If I can get it open. How are you guys liking the soap videos? Let me know. Because I do plan on making some more soap. Um, I had a soap channel that I'd started. But now I can't remember how to get back into it. So I'm like. All right, this packaging is hard. I know sometimes their packaging is like the cardboard. There is the packaging. Very pretty, very sleek. Very hard to get into. Oh, it's got like a bronzer in it. It said trio, cheek trio. Okay, so they mean like a highlight uh, um, bronzer, which I do have. Oh, children. Okay, go light on the bronzer. She is here to pl uh, play hard. But very pretty. Okay. The cheek is a very pretty light peach. And it does have some shimmer, it looks like. To me, it doesn't show up that much on my skin it shows up a little bit and then highlight brush come to me clean it off definitely not like blinding but very pretty very pretty I mean, if you want, I mean, it's pretty. It's not like, bam. Just into a little bit. Pretty. We didn't get a lippy in this one. Very, um, it's like, oh, they're creamy. I'll give them that. Very creamy on the highlight. Very creamy on the, oh, they're all creamy. <laughs> so there they are swatched. And... Very pretty. Yes, so mine, I've already swatched them. And that is, this treat, cheek trio has a, all your angles covered. A high quality silky formulation ensures the high points of your cheeks are evenly highlighted. The hollows are perfectly chiseled and the apples of your cheeks are subtly flushed with a universal peach. So if I'd have read this first, I would have known <laughs> that it had everything in there. That retailed for $28, so very nice. And last up, we have the Ciate London New England Editor's Palette. Get it in frame there, Shannon. Hey, there we go. Um, inspired by New England in fall. Oh, I'm excited now. This palette features super soft and blendable shadows in a mix of richly pigmented um, autumnal, autumnal, I can't never say that, um, hues mix and match the metallic glitters and mattes for effortless eye looks 32 dollars okay a tum a, a, a tum normal tum shite <laughs> can't say it Ooh, it's pink Ooh, it's pretty why does it if it's autumn if it's kind of autumn why does it have like palm leaves on it these look like palm, like palm fronds or, you know, what I'm saying, like big palm leaves. But anyhow, it's pretty. Ooh, very pretty. 
is a protective cover on the mirror, a nice big mirror. I thought it was cracked. I just seen something. It must have been like a crease in the protector. There are the shades. I do have on some neutral shadow, but we can play with this one a little bit. I'm going to go into this chocolatey color. This chocolatey color. We're going to deepen that up a little bit. Let's play with it just a little bit. This is my favorite brush, the 433 from Morphe. And have you ever went for a long period of time or, you know, like a couple weeks and not done your makeup? And then when you go to do your makeup, you always feel like you forgot how to do it. <laughs> That's the way I felt this morning when I was putting my makeup on. I'm like, my eyeshadow just does not seem like it's blending well. It just seems like I have forgotten how to do this. <sighs> very pretty. Blended very well over that. And what I have on my eyes is the Jeffree Star um, O palette. Is the one I have on my eyes. I'm going to... Come back with, speaking of Mr. Star, actually no, I want this brush. This came in one of our boxes. This was the last boxy charm. It is Morphe. It's the, I don't know brush. It's one of the blending brushes that came. The really, really skinny handle. I'm going to come into this lightest shade right here. Ooh, super soft. Can you guys see? I just went into that. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to come up here and blend. Okay. Soft. That, that one is really soft. Just blend that chocolate. Okay. Now, I need to wash my brushes, guys. I'm going to pick up a little... Moda brush. I think this is a Moda brush. It's the little bitty one. And oh man. Ooh, that green. You know I go for green and I go for gold. Uh, let's do something different and go for this teal. So I said that green. Oh my. Oh, you know I'm going to tear into that green. Let's do something with this teal. Let's see what that looks like. Very pretty. Then we'll do green. <laughs> then we'll do the green side of it. Oh my gosh. Shannon, you cannot get away from the green, I swear. That is pretty. Okay. So I'm doing half the lid and over. Pat, 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 drag, drag, drag. Cleaning it all because we're going to do green. <laughs> Guys, we are so close to Halloween. Can you believe we are already at Halloween? Everything that's happened this year, can you believe we're already at like 10 days away from Halloween or 11 days? If you have not went out and voted... And if you're not registered to vote, get out there and vote. Um, I'm serious. Get your butts out there and vote. I voted the first day of early voting. I was not even playing. I'm like, I'm getting my ass out there. Little miss had took a nap. I put her in this box over here and put her in my bathroom and shut her up in there. Because Sam was still being kind of... Um, you see in Growly, um, he's starting to come around. I know a lot of people have been asking me on Instagram how Mr. Sam likes the new kitten. He didn't. <laughs> Hissed and growled and complained. Was so vocal. Because um, he's usually not a vocal cat. He was not a happy camper at all. 
but um, the last couple days he has come up to come up to her like smelled her I'm gonna go into this deep blue now it's deep blue with a flat liner brush it's kind of like a day to night look but um sniffed her he's been watching her he's not like done anything to hurt her smacked at her nothing he's just kissed and growled made his thoughts known um but he has watched her sniffed her without growling and he is seeing so he is starting to come around catch some cats just take a little time to adjust now if it had been my tiger boy the one that we lost last year he was a mama cat he was like a mama kitty he loved kittens he would hold them clean them play with them until they got about um an adolescent age and then he didn't want nothing to do with them <laughs> but when they were babies uh he loved he loved kittens i'm gonna go into this peachy shade this one right here guys and we're almost done it's looking at the time just right up there this is a luxie brush i think we got last year around the holidays very pretty now i need to go somewhere where can we go i want to show you guys something funny well it's not funny but i'm going to show you guys something that i noticed and I had a fit. And let me know if you guys have ever experienced this. When I do my eyes, my eyebrows, I use one of the razor things. And I go underneath here and like shave these hairs out, all the scraggles. Then I take tweezers and do like right up here to clean that up. And then I'll take the razor and go up here. And the same thing and then take the tweezers and then clean this line up and then i'll comb them up with si and then i'll take the scissors and trim them okay and i let them get kind of long before i cut them see what i'm saying so i don't comb mine straight up i comb mine down like that so i know some people comb theirs like straight up I don't. I comb them the way that they grow, over and down. This brow here has got a bald spot coming up in it. Can you guys see that right there? There's a bald spot right there. Right there. And I was doing um, something the other day and getting ready, and I was like, there's a bald spot right there. It's like what <laughs> hopefully it comes back in i don't know we'll see but yeah i got a bald spot who knows i'm i'm not plucked it so because i don't really pluck into my brows to thin them down um so that was interesting just let me know if you guys have ever experienced a bald spot come up in your brows um for lips i'm just going to grab this is the alamar again boxy charm I don't remember birthday suits because when I'm wearing my mask I just wear clear lip balm that's it no lipstick no lip gloss just a clear lip balm but there is our day to not we can call it to um using our boxy jar all right, guys, let me know what you got in your boxy charm. Was it different? Was it the same? What variation did you get? And my variation was 61. And that was actually a really good box this month. I liked everything in it. I'll use everything in it. You know how so much you get the boxes and you're like, eh, I won't use any of that. But this month I'll use everything in it. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I do have a giveaway going for two bars of my handmade soap. I will leave that video linked down in the bottom or in the description box. So be sure you check that video out for all the rules and how you enter. It is international. 
Um, and I always add a little extra goodie or two to my giveaways, always. So you are getting two bars of soap. I don't know what fragrances yet, but they will be like holiday themed um, soaps. And you can check out the IG too. All that's listed down below to see kind of the soaps I've been making. And if you want to buy any of those, just give me a DM. They'll be ready in three to four to five weeks, depending on when I made them. Um, just let me know. And I'll see you guys on the next one.